The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Friday pod. Hey-o. I just heard the word cocktail before it came in. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how you sleep after you have an espresso martini at like... What I time know. did you say you were drinking them? Oh. Probably 11 o'clock. Oh, I don't know how you do it. We had one in the end. If yeah. I have a coffee after like midday, I reckon, and I don't know if it's psychological or not, I la- literally lay in bed and I'm like, I can't sleep. You're really? right. And, and coffee does rock me. I don't yeah. drink it a lot. Well, that's the thing. He I was carrying on a bit yesterday at Fonzie Abbott. Did he speak to you yesterday? <laughs> I, oh, Ash, I'm buzzing. I just oh, saw yeah. the text. Oh, no. I smashed two. <laughs> like, Tuesday, like, yeah. Honestly, I wasn't right. <laughs> It's too much for I me. I couldn't finish my second one out there. The cold pressed one. Did you try that one? Oh, cold pressed uh, is so good. But the cold pressed, the, the can. Uh, cold pressed. Yeah, it, it was in a. It was in a plunger. Not in that uh, one. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. It was too C- strong. Cold brew. I was like buzzing. Mm. Mm. Like buzzing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All afternoon though, I was like, Were you the type of yeah, kid you weren't allowed to have? Um, like you. Your mum had to restrict your sugar. Yeah. <laughs> red cordial. Oh, are red you? cordial. My cousins were like that. You know, there was people who weren't allowed junk food. No red crazy. frogs, Johnny. <laughs> hey, who go crazy? I felt drunk. It, it drunk. just felt weird. Yeah, really? it was really weird. Do you, oh, yeah. I, really? That's why I don't understand. Like, because how many espressos will you drink? I've been with you out before. Like, you, but honestly, <laughs> you'll like be there. Well, you're right. And you it'll it'll hit that. a time, and Lutzi goes, okay, one, two, three, eight espressos, thanks. And then we just start, everyone just starts drinking espresso mm. martinis. Just smashing them. Yeah. Yeah, and I, you're not right for a couple of days if you do that. Mm. Imagine how much like, coffee's in that. I don't like espresso martinis, and I love coffee. Really? I don't, it doesn't feel right it, with alcohol. What's the alcohol in it? Vody? What is the alcohol? Vodka usually? You can, yeah, so, because I make them at home, because I've got an espresso machine at home. It's I do two shots of vodka. These are strong. Two shots of vodka, a shot of um, Kahlua. Kahlua. Oh, a little bit of sugar syrup, ah. and uh, a whole shot of espresso. That's three, that's three drinks, at least. Probably. Three shots. Well, a Kahlua was not really. Yeah, I don't know what the. Kahlua. Bailey's, yeah. Bailey's you can use as well. Uh, Bailey's. I've never used oh Bailey, but that, that yeah. would work, yeah. yeah. I think Kahlua and milk was my first drink. I the reckon. drink I tried. I reckon it was yeah. like the first time I strayed away from a beer or something like that. Yeah. It was popular Kahlua. when we were Kahlua teenagers. And milk. Kahlua and milk. Can you yeah. imagine going out and getting on the Kahlua and milks? Yeah. <laughs> I, used to, I, used to, I used to do it. Did you used to do that? Yeah. I used to do that at City yeah. Rowan. Yeah, no. It actually tastes really good. Yeah. Is that black Russians or white Russians? White Russians. White Russians. What's, yep. a, what's a white Russian? I think it... Is it vodka and milk or Kahlua and milk? It's a bit, vodka was, and milk? Let me do it. Really? Mm. Ooh, Let me just I, think I think white Russians might be Kahlua and milk. The, the, the big Lebowski used to drink and that. Black and black Russians. Right? Black Russians and white Russians. I don't know what if it's Russian, Russian you'd have to think it's vodka. Well, yeah, exactly. But vodka and milk, white I mean, jeez. Russian drink. I think it was Kahlua as well or something. Though. Let's see. But um, what's in a black Russian? Then they answer. Vodka, Kahlua and cream. Oh. oh. White Russian. So that's not even. Oh, but that'd be, no, like a, even. that'd be like a shot though, wouldn't it? No. no. It was a drink. I think you drink. Oh. Came about the 1960s when someone added some cream to a black Russian. <laughs> so a black Russian's just Kahlua and I presume. vodka. <laughs> yeah, I thought oh. there was, there's no Coke in it, eh? Hey? Okay, right. Well, hang on. What's the one with Kahlua and vodka? That's a black Russian. So what's the one with wh- cream? Oh, white, white Russian, Russian is when you put the cream on. Yeah, black Russian is... Our drinks as kids were Jaeger bombs. Mm. That was massive when I was kind of oh, growing really? up. Oh, honestly. And uh, to your point, Lutz, I don't think I could drink Jaeger now. Even Red Bull puts me off a little bit because of the. Oh, I can just. I, can, I don't want to go too much into detail, but the nah. amount of times. We yeah. used to drink. Um, mm. People used to go out and get the shots of. Um, uh, and I don't think I've ever seen it since I was about 22, but it was a green. It was called. Um, uh, uh, Midori. No, no, I used to drink that Not too, Midori. Not no. Galliano Sambuca. Oh, 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 that was a big deal, wasn't it? Oh, With they it. lit it on oh. fire? No, Chartreuse, yeah. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. Chartreuse, is it? Yes. Oh, yeah, those those uh, that, licorice. Is that red or? I hate licorice drinks. Um, I hate licorice. No, I'm thinking Chambord, sorry. Uh, and they'd light them up yeah. sometimes. and they had oh. Flaming lamb, flaming. Yeah. Flaming, flaming Lamborghini. Is it Lamborghini? <laughs> no. Uh, and then flaming, would you get the straw flaming. and you suck out the fumes? Oh, uh, no. You remember that? Flaming, from Zambuca? Yeah, what but were they no. called? <laughs> oh, I couldn't. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Never say uh, black Zambuca. Yeah. And you can smell it at the bar. It's when they take yeah. the lid off. Oh, gross. And the, the cock sucking cowboys were really big shots everyone got. What was that? It had. That was, um, it was like peach schnapp, wasn't it? Yeah. They were pretty, they they were pretty harmless, the cock sucking cowboys. And we used to do cement mixes. What's that? Where it was a shot of Bailey's, I think, and you'd chase it with like cordial or something like that, and the, whatever it was would um, oh. react with the oh. the milk curdle. and curdle, oh. and you'd feel it. Oh. Yeah, I used to do that 
it's, it's a pretty easy one to do because it's no gas, but it looks tough. They call it, unfortunately, <laughs> they call it an Irish car bomb, I think, but it's oh. half it? a pint of Guinness and you drop Bailey's, I've a shot that. of Bailey's in and just skull oh, it. Is that a depth <laughs> charger? Well, by the way, that that's a yeah. cool name. What's it called? An Irish car bomb. bomb. Oh, Irish car bomb. <laughs> oh, that's the name of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. If you, oh, God, your guts after you drink that. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's yeah. easy to drink. Is yeah. it even a beer? Not good. Again, curdles in your guts. Yeah. Um, what did you say? Mm, with Guinness, that was. Yeah. I think there was one oh, called a, um, a snake bite when I was growing up. And it what was, was that? It was, I think it was a yeah. shot of vodka or maybe Jaeger again in beer. So it was the same as the flaming car bomb, but obviously oh. you'd have a beer and then you'd drop something in it and you'd neck it back. And they're always, the, for whatever reason, they're the cheapest drink at the taste. Pulse these the club used to go to in Gosford. Snake bite says it's beer and cider. Did you say that? And black currant cordial. What's that? Ugh. Snake bite. Jeez. Oh, okay. Parts. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I reckon it was red cordial, though. A dash of black currant cordial was added. Well, that might be the same as the. Um, I don't know, you're, Alicia. You're you're kind of nodding along. Yeah, Wigan. Imagine the drinks they have there. Oh yeah. God. God. What um? And the cigarettes. Well, what was your uh, drink of choice, Alicia? Back in Wigan. Well, I was a big tequila girl back in the tequila. day. Tequila. Oh, I can't tequila do tequila or my, Jager bombs, like you said. Yeah, my wife's into. I can't do tequila. Oh, tequila. First time I Gross. ever got drunk was on tequila. Oh. oh. Is that at Christian Mason's house? I was about sixteen, and honestly, what, it kept sculling me sculling it. I mean, but shotting it. Like you're taking shots. Lip, sip, suck. Yep. Lip, sip, suck. Oh, no, just lip, whatever six, it was. Lip, but sip, <sighs> Like, I, I hadn't even ever drunk before, and I was like, uh, like vomit, just a disgraceful mess. Oh. And it, it it was that bad of an experience. I don't think I've ever drunk tequila <laughs> again. Really? I, yeah, I can't do it without <laughs> thinking about it. Drink. And I didn't it? drink from then until I was like nearly 21. Oh. Just because of that night, I was like, this is Awful. Why is it everyone's go-to shot? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's gross. It's not nice. Everyone gets oh, it. It's, it's, it's the, the, the smell of it uh, smells uh, like it methane. smells like petrol to petrol. me. Like, uh, yeah, it's kind of, isn't it? Uh, uh, gross. Anyway, uh. anyway, have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy drinking. <laughs> Drink responsibly. <laughs> yeah. The Ash, Lutzi, and Susie O'Neill podcast.